All right, so we got what's the best year in modern gaming? Let's go to the video. Um, I think the best year of gaming ever is 2013. And the second one, right? If I was to have a second one, it would be 2018. What's the best year in gaming? Oof. 2007. 2007? 2007? I'm going 2017. I actually don't believe 2007. 2017? Yes, some of the huge stuff. I think okay. 2007 was a really significant year that sort of marked the beginning of modern gaming. Yes. Which is a yeah. hard thing to pinpoint, but like that is really a bunch of stuff kind of shifted that year and a bunch of huge franchises started that we are still talking about today that it really became like... I'm going know, to explain why I think it's 20, uh, why it's tw you know, uh, 2013. It looks like... Um, GTA 4 came out. That was, you know, one of the biggest games of the year. And it was, I think it was interesting because that was, that was Rockstar getting more serious. Mm -hmm. That was their first foray into like, this is bordering on realistic. You know, it was still goofy, still cartoony. It still had like Mad Magazine business names, but it was like, they were starting to kind of rein things in a bit compared to, you know, what eventually, you know, happened in, uh, you know, in, in five, like five is pretty. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. And you could also take your cousin bowling. So I went, I went to the midnight launch for that at a GameStop in New Jersey and uh i i, I yeah, guess accidentally i know i just missed you i accidentally cosplayed as nico bellic because that's exactly how i looked at the time yeah. you had no hair that time as well yeah or like a little bit and then, the fingerless gloves you know you i probably i honestly helicopter getting there you're... i i smoked <laughs> cigarettes so i probably did have fingerless gloves for some dumb reason where i was just like oh I this mean, is it, cool it was the <laughs> earth through your finger <laughs> it was the 2000s we did a lot of uh fashion things that just yeah a lot of cringe a stuff lot of <laughs> back then. it was very it was yeah. very cringe uh, was 2000s early 2000s it's funny looking at like we we are all like call of duty again and annualized thing that didn't that didn't get annualized until two i think like yeah like a three year gap two or three year gap between the first one and the second one okay and point it was like oh cool they're making a new one and yep. then it's also you're like oh so it's he like said 2007 series, whatever it's like 2017 modern warfare and then modern warfare was like it changed modern that, warfare that, that game and i'm not a call of duty guy but that that game oh, it that gaming forever yeah, yeah it did i, I will agree to that game mm -hmm. like it was just so, i will agree like just gripping on me and my friend group like that was all we played call of duty yeah. modern warfare 2 was really we big for call of duty call of duty fans before, like in general all the previous ones were like just remasters of call of duty right. one remaster of call of duty two like these pc call of duty games that were bringing out that came out and then on like the ps2 call of duty 4 like call of duty 4 edition. was yeah, one of the, the is big, to this day one of the one best one call of duties of all yeah, time yeah. call of duty 4 modern warfare the, the first modern warfare was one of the brother unmatched big red one the campaign and a multiplayer clifford in there somewhere i wonder why she said 2017 though like this one came out and it just was so just fundamentally different from yeah. all the previous true. Call of Duties. Very like true. We had seen Call of Duty 3 um, with the 360s launch when they ported it over and it was starting to kind of get into that online play and like mm -hmm. competitive landscape. But it just it didn't take off as well as I'm sure Activision wanted to, and then they dropped this. Well, and yeah, the other thing that happened in 2007 was was Halo 3 had dropped. Which yep, was that huge, too. And people yep. loved the multiplayer of that. Yeah. And then Modern Warfare, I think, rode that wave, and it was multi-platform, so it really it clicked in a lot of ways there. And yeah. it was more realistic, so people who didn't were like, I don't want to shoot aliens because I'm too cool <laughs> to shoot aliens. World War II shooter. That's old. Those guns are made of wood. It's like. <laughs> 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 it's, it's a fitting title, Modern Warfare, because it really was sort of the, the marked the beginning of what, uh, you know, gaming is still feeling those influences. Like it's still we're still kind of getting that. Still the best selling franchise every single year. Oh, yeah. because of that game. Yep. True. Yep. Straight up. Uh, and then we also got Bioshock, which best game of the yeah, best game of the uh, year, on hands the down. Opposite end of the of the shooter spectrum. I was never really into Bioshock. I'll be real. Do you all remember? Like, For myself, I was never really into Bioshock. Like playing that the the beginning of that game mm -hmm. and. Like your shit. I, I want to hear what she has to say about 2017, though. Going in the tower and the ending up in Bioshock was like. I kind of, I, I kind of want to skip a little bit to see what she said about 2017. Impressive, like first 15 minutes of any video game ever. That was that's what bought me got me to buy a 360. Yeah, that, that Bioshock yeah. literally is what was the reason because it was a 360 exclusive at launch, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and that's what made me buy a 360 because my uh, one of my coworkers was like just touting this game. I like the 360 like over the right? PlayStation 3 any day. Blown away. I like, like both of them, but I I love the uh, like the 360. Little, like love the 360. 360. One of my favorite yeah, consoles outside ever. Outside the city was just mm -hmm. like, I was like the the design like philosophy in this but again i was never really into bioshock i'll really really keep it honest i really wasn't so well, cool. i mean it's the equivalent of like a really just amazing establishing shot or like yeah yeah it's mm -hmm. an, you know it's an opening but i think it really also just it does so much to completely completely 
present what's going to happen, which yeah. is not, you know, what's going to happen, but really... Like, pull you into yeah. the world so yeah. you know what to expect. Not what you don't yeah. know what to it's expect. A, it, is a, it is a thesis statement. Yes. Yeah. It very much is upfront yes. with what's going on. And you, you, got, a, you got a good oh, yeah. so far, Max. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, was, man. Legit. There was also, and again, apologies okay. for talking about what were, at one point, you know, Xbox exclusives on a PlayStation show. But uh, also <sighs> Mass Effect, which was... Right. Kind of the beginning of, of, I mean, Bioware had done Knights of the okay. Republic. Mm -hmm. They had done uh, Neverwinter Nights and stuff like that. All right, here's what I say. I think when it comes down to it, right, when, when we when we talk about the year that gaming changed forever, right, good and bad, right, good and bad, in my opinion, because when it came down to it, I feel like 2013 was the greatest year, was the greatest gaming year of all time to like to this day okay let me explain first of all gta 5 for, bro I, I think i think minecraft is the only game that that is the only successful like you know it, i think minecraft is number one when it comes to like how successful uh like a game is i think it has like the most sales Br brother 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 oh my god gta 5 i think i i heard them saying that like and this is on the news, by the way. GTA 5 dropped. The internet was on fire, bro. And I remember that time. Obviously, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have Twitter. Brother, I was 10 years old. But I knew what GTA 5 was. I knew what GTA 5 was. Brother, I it, it was GTA 5 uh, trailers on the TV. Oh, I still remember the trailer, by the way. I still remember the trailer. It was so big. It was crazy. The trailer was so big. I was so excited. Obviously, I was the only, you know... A uh, kid in my family that was interested in video games, so I was just jumping up and down because I'm like, bro, this is GTA 5. It looks so good, brother. GTA 5 looks so good for a PlayStation for a last gen console, bro. It looked absolutely amazing. Let's not forget that in 2008, GTA 4 dropped, or 2000, you know, yeah, 2008, GTA 4 dropped, right, brother. The gap from GTA 4 to GTA 5 graphically let's not even talk about the story mode the story mode first of all gta 5 story mode is one of the greatest story modes of all time i don't care what you say i really don't care what you say oh well you oh, well, you forgotten i i don't i really don't care let, okay let let me cook for once okay let me cook because i don't really get to cook okay all my stuff is raw let me cook for once okay um listen the the transition in gta 4 was really good but bro the transition from gta 4 to gta 5 absolutely bro gta 5 is absolutely perfect bro when we're talking about graphically oh my brother brother and this is on the last gen this wasn't on the ps4 or the ps5 obviously you know the ps4 came out the next year in 2014 but brother gta 5 looked absolutely perfect completely completely i think um uh, i think i saw one thing where GTA 5 got what a billion um a billion sold copies like around the world in like the first week or like the first day or like overnight what it was some crazy number but like let's not even like let's not let's never it, it, like ignore how big GTA 5 was when it first came out to this day people are still playing it 10 years later like that's how big GTA 5 is and like bro oh my god one of my favorite games ever okay no, so listen that already in itself gta 5 already in itself just just perfect bro one of my favorite uh god of war games god of war ascension came out that year i think in march of that year yes i played that what else last of us came out that year uh what else i think we had um we had what two zelda games came out that year um the guy on the left right here, the guy in the, in, the, in the leather jacket, he just mentioned it. Uh BioShock came out that year. I don't know, I forgot which one. Was it Infinite? I don't know. But BioShock came out that year. I remember that. Bro, we had so many games that popped out in 2013. It was crazy. And that's the thing. And and that was the good part about it. Like 2013 was filled with uh, amazing games up all, all up and down the year, bro. But uh, the thing about that, the bad part about that is this is when a lot of the companies were forced to, I guess, compete, if that makes sense, or they were forced to, like, up in that certain level because once GTA 5 dropped, once Last of Us dropped, this is when a lot of games had to step up their game, and they didn't step up their game, it was over, 
okay? Let's just let's just not you know ignore that, you know? Uh obviously, you know, you had uh year by year games like Call of Duty. You know that would I mean, that would I wouldn't say gradually get better because there were some Call of Duties, you know. There was one year where where you know, a Call of Duty game would be like these and then the next year a Call of Duty game would be like this and then the next year it'd be like this and then the next year it'd be like this. You know, and and, and honestly, I, I just feel like I mean, I really don't have an answer for that because it's, it's it's Call of Duty, you know. It's, it's they have the same basis, you know, uh, every single year. But obviously, they change up a lot, you know, a lot of different things. That's why it's like a whole new game. But like, obviously, the whole thing is just a first person shooter, you know, simple as that. But um, but yeah, it, it's just games like that. You really can't you really can't judge. I guess same as like NBA Two K. It's, it's, it's the same game, but obviously they're they're adding different things. Uh, when it comes to like graphics and stuff like that, obviously it's different, but like it, it's the same, it's just, it's the same game. Um, but when you're having stuff like GTA, uh, Last of Us, uh, what else? I think oh, Dead Space dropped in 2013 too. Like, bro, oh my god, I'm a big Dead Space, uh, Dead Space fan, so that's why I had to you know name drop uh, Dead Space. Um, obviously, you know a lot of people didn't like Dead Space back then. I liked it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, but you know, obviously they dropped the remaster and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I just think that 2013 was a really, really, really good year uh, for gaming. The up and down the year, bro. Like straight bangers, bro. And honestly, that's the year where you know where I really, obviously, I was already, I was already into gaming, but like, bro, that really like pushed my love for gaming a lot. Especially God of War Ascension, bro. One of my favorite games uh, of all time. I really love God of War Ascension of course gta 5 um and so the the lady right here in the middle when she said 2017 i was thinking i'm like you know what 2017 was all right 2018 was very good very good very good in my opinion um god of war dropped i, I they didn't they haven't you know when when god of war dropped uh in 2018 they didn't have a game drop in five years since uh god of war ascension in 2013 so obviously a lot of people are going to play God of War, you know, a, a lot of the um, God of War fans, you know, we're going to touch the new God of War. Um, and this is where it was just God of War. I mean, technically it was God of War 4, but, you know, they just named it uh, just, just God of War. Um, one of my favorite games ever, Detroit Become Human, amazing story mode game. Absolutely amazing where your decisions literally matter. Every decision you make, there, there are literally outcomes to every single like <laughs> to every single like decision you make. The trip become again one of my favorite games ever. Uh when it comes down to the story mode, you really get to test their story mode. They have three um three amazing characters, the, all different paths and stuff like that, all different, you know, backstories and, 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 and all different ways to like, you know, become successful or they can or they can fail in their mission. Um Obviously, the graphics, insane. Um, and yeah, Spider-Man, absolutely amazing. I mean, what else do I got to say? It, it, the Spider-Man game is just just, <laughs> just, just absolutely amazing. Um, I was about to say, what, I think, then, I was about to say 2020 as well. Because 2020, that that year was, was like a... How can I name 2020 was a really good year for I said this in my other in my Zelda video, but 2020 was a really good year for content creators. If that makes sense. Uh, well, gaming content creators. OK, and let me explain um, the games that they had were very content creator type games uh, such as Fall Guys. Um, definitely Among Us this is when Among Us definitely took over. I didn't even know that Among Us came out in 2018. And then obviously uh, I think and then uh, a Twitch streamer blew it up. I didn't even know that. I just thought that uh, Among Us dropped in 2020, but it turns out, no, it dropped in 2018, and then a streamer, a uh, very popular streamer, I don't remember, was it Soda Pop? I don't think it was Soda Pop. I think some other big popular streamer played it, and, um, you know, and, and it took off from there, and a lot of, you know, other content creators, you know, jump on a wave, you know, to, you know, obviously, you know, you know. and so, um, and so, yeah, obviously, Among Us, Fall Guys, Ghost of, Tish of Tishima? What the year did that come out? Wait, hold up. I'm looking at it right now. Don't leave. Give me one second. I think Ghost of Tishima came out. Uh, Ghost of uh, Tishima. 2020, yeah. 2020. I knew I was right. 2020. So, yeah. 2020 was an okay year. Oh, and Warzone came out that year. Okay. 2020 was a, was a good year. 2020 was a good year. Ghost of Tishima was a really good game, by the way. Very good game. 
I feel like a lot of people forget that. Uh, I think the Last of Us, Last of Us Two, came out 2020 as well, or did it come out 2019? I think Little Nightmares came out that year too, 2020 as well. Hold up, let me look it up, because I think um, Last of Us came out 2020 as well. Uh, Last of Us, Last of Us, Last of Us Part Two. Yeah, 2020, yeah. Last of Us Part 2 came out 2020. It was the summer of 2020. And I think Little Nightmares came out 2020. Okay, so 2020 was a, was a good year. 2020 was a, was a really good year. Okay. Okay. Yep, it was. It was. Because I remember where uh, the Game Awards. Oh, my God. Let's not talk about 2020 Game Awards. I mean, obviously, I, I watched it. I, I loved it. But, brother, brother, The Last of Us Part 2 literally was the Billy Eilish. I don't know if you guys remember, but Billy Eilish, I think that, that same year in 2020 won like five, six, five, six Grammys. Like she killed it. She obliterated everybody. And then uh, Last of Us did the same thing at the, at, uh, at the Game Awards, bro. They cleaned the slate. Kind of like what um, what God, mm, God of War, Ragnarok, I think they won, what, three or four awards in, in the Game Awards last year? But bro, Last of Us Part Two cleaned everybody out, bro. I mean, honestly, it, it, I mean, it kind of does. Mm, it was a really good game, man. I was about to say it kind of deserved like a lot of the awards, but at the same time, let's not act like you know twenty twenty didn't have any you know games. Um, but yeah, I really want to know why she said twenty seventeen. Um, this is a really long video. Let me just search up. Let me see something real quick. Let's search up some games. Twenty seventeen. Oh, I said, I said 3017. 2017 games. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay, hold up. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see why she said, it's, okay. I thought Breath of the Wild came out. Oh, snap. Breath of the Wild came out 2017. Resident Evil, Cuphead. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, Horizon Zero came out that year. Wolfenstein didn't really like Wolfenstein. I'd be real. Destiny. Destiny's all right. Uh, Assassin's Creed, obviously. Goat. Injustice Two came out that year. Little Nightmares came out twenty seven. I thought Little Nightmares came out. I thought Little Nightmares came out twenty twenty. Little Nightmares came out in 2017? No way. Hold up. Because I'm learning a lot right now. Wait. No, wait. Little Nightmares came out in 20... I could have sworn I was playing Little Nightmares in 2022. Hold up, bro. Oh, was it Little Nightmares 2? The Evil Within came out 2017. Warhammer 2. Uh, Total War Warhammer 2 came out 2017. Okay, I see why she said 2017. 2017 has some bangers. I'll, I'll be real. Splatoon, yeah. Damn, man. Oh, how can I not forget? 2018, Smash Bros. came out. Oh, my God. How could I forget? Smash Bros. came out in 2018 as well. That was a really good year. But, again, I would, I would, I would take 2013 over 2018. That's, bro, oh, my God. Those are, like... 2013 and 2018 are tied, bro. Are tied neck and neck, bro. Honestly. But we can ne we can never forget how how big GTA 5 was, bro. That I, I feel like that that has a little bit more weight to it. That has a little bit more weight to it, bro. Honestly, GTA 5 one of the greatest games ever. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. That was one of the games that I literally had to, bro, brother. I had to do all types of chores and and this and this and that just to buy the, just to get the game, just to like <laughs> ask my mom just to get like get the game for me, bro. And no one, listen. Let me tell you something. Nobody cared about online, bro. That is the first game that I've heard from. Listen. GTA 5 online at the you know when it first came out was kind of iffy. I'll be real. But nobody cared about online, bro. No one. 
absolutely nobody. GTA, and honestly, GTA Online itself, whether it was on GTA 4 or GTA 5, was always iffy. It was never, it, it never came near the, it, like uh, the story mode. GTA 5 story mode has to be one of the greatest story modes ever. I do not care what you say. It is literally one of the, why do you think billions, you think, what, let me just, let me just ask you a question real quick. You think billions of people, billions, no, 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 sorry, I said no, no, not billions, mm, no, a billion dollars in sales, not billions, like, not billions of people, but do you think that this game got billions of dollars in sales, what, the first week, first day, whatever, what, I, whatever he said, you think that this game got billions of dollars in sales for the multiplayer? You, you think, you think... <laughs> You think you think I have to do all these type of chores and stuff like that at, at the age of ten years old for the online? I didn't get. I didn't care about online. Didn't even exist. What do we in my head? What do we know? I paid for that story mode. That's the first time ever to this day that I paid money for a story mode, bro. Specifically for the story mode. Well, no. I'm capping. I'm lying. Hold up. I'm lying for this. Mm, no, hold up. It's Call of Duty. I pay for the campaign and st campaign multiplayer. Yeah. So, I'm trying to think of more games. Okay, no, I'm lying. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I'm lying. I'm lying. But you get what I'm saying. Like I, that game, it, it it changed like my whole view on gaming. Okay, that's what I meant to say. But yeah, bro, it's just. I think 2013 takes the cake, bro. Comment down below. What do you guys think is the greatest year for gaming? Uh, shout out to IGN. Um, I see why she said 2017. I didn't get his vote. Uh, not his vote, but I didn't get uh, his year yet. Um, but yeah, man, comment down below, man. What, what year do you think is the greatest uh, video game year of all time? Uh, you never know. You never know. Obviously, we still got a lot of time in 2023. We got some bangers drop in 2023. Uh, some really good games drop, and um, we'll see what, what what this year takes us when it when it comes down to gaming. But um, um, for some reason, I have a uh, I, I have a I have a feeling that we're gonna, we're gonna get something special down the line. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what type of game it is. But I have a feeling that uh, that we're, that something's good gonna happen whenever it comes to the gaming community. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but like it's like a little feeling inside that like you know what something might pop off this year that we don't know about. And best believe when GTA Six comes out like in like three years or two years whatever, best believe I'm going to be there, front row seats. Who do y'all take me as? I'm gonna have front row seats to GTA Six. Best believe. Best believe. I promise you that. <laughs> I'll promise y'all. Y'all gonna be right with me. GTA Six. Oh my, bro! When GTA Six pops out, brother, the amount of GTA Six content we will be having is absolutely astronomical. If I said that word right, <laughs> okay. Oh my God! Listen, I love gaming. Uh, hope well. Obviously, you guys love gaming since you guys are here. But brother, we have so much to uncover in the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me throughout these videos. Subscribe to the channel, liking the video. I really, really, really appreciate it. And um, man, again, we we have a we have a lot in the future. I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited for a lot of these games. You know, to to, to pop out uh, a lot of the story mode games. And oh man, it's just a bundle of just joy. So hopefully, you guys, you know, will stick with me. You know, with this journey of just discovering new video games and, and all this and all that, you know. And, um, and, yeah, man. Other than that, comment down below. Uh, again, what's your favorite video game year of all time? I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And peace. That was a lot of talking. I need some water. My mouth is absolutely dry. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. What you, is it Sahara or Sahara? What do you guys say? I think it's Sahara, but maybe I'm wrong. All right. Bye, guys.